So I will use Ctrl Shift and Plus it's to increase um, the font. All right. So now, if I go to the browser and I try to, um, um, if I try to run this um, URL, Kali colon eighty three for the default um, port for Nessus service. So I will say that um, I'm having this error. Um, is because I'm I did not start the Nessus service. So remember, you always have to start the Nessus service, and you have to be a sudo user in order to start the service. So I will just go system CL. Our Nessus D dot service. And it will start the service. I will give the password for Kali. And then if I refresh this um, link and I'll be able to log in, I come to the login page. So now uh, let's imagine that I mean I forgot my password and if I try to sign in, um, I will see some sort of um, you know window like embedded credentials. And one of the way that we can resolve this kind of issues is um, reinstalling Nessus from scratch. And if it still does not work, the second option is removing all the um, source files of Nessus from this virtual machine and then reinstall it from scratch. So what we'll do, we'll uh, remove everything and then reinstall um, from, from scratch and that will resolve the issue. So I will create another video how to install Nessus. Uh, in this one, I will simply show how we can remove um, all the files from Nessus. All right, so first of all, I will stop the service. So the step one is um, I will be using the Debian package manager command dpkg. Um, you can do dpkg minus one itself in order to see different options that you can use um, with this command. So um, the command that we'll be using is dpkg minus r to remove um, Nessus. Um, and okay, so we will need sudo users. So sudo. It will remove the files for Nessus, and there there are some other files that we still need to um, remove, which this DeepKit cannot remove from the um, from the system package, and um, we actually have to use another command to um, remove those remaining files. Uh, which were not a part of the original installation. So in order to do that, we can simply use rm to remove um, all the files from opt source folder. So rm minus rf um, for slash opt for slash. Okay, sorry, I actually forgot to give sudo again. So that's the reason I actually it um, could not um, remove those files. So I will add sudo at the beginning and then run this again. And now it will remove rest of the files. So it's been removed. So how we can check, we can use a look in command and to see um, if there is anything um, inside this Nessus. So locate will show us, I mean, the full file path um, that we are looking for. So now we can see that there is nothing um, inside and all the files related to Nessus has been removed from these virtual machines. Uh, so now um, we can reinstall um, Nessus, Nessus from the beginning and we'll be able to use the Nessus service. So I hope that it helped you and if it did and you find it useful, so please do not forget to um, like and subscribe to my channel and if there is any query, please do let me know through the comment section. Thank you so much.